Yo, yo, at the Mount Beersat trailhead this morning. Going to have a pretty big workout here. The plan is to do two by Mount Beersat. So ascent, descent, ascent, descent. And the first go around, the first ascent, gonna see how fast I can go. So basically all out, racing myself. The fastest known time is held by Seth Damore in I believe 47 minutes and some odd seconds, maybe 15 seconds. The plan today is to see how close I can come to that. The fastest time this year is 58 minutes. So if I fall short of Seth's 47, uh, 58 would be, I guess, the next target. Got to have something to shoot for out there, you know? And for the FKT attempt for the fast uh, first rep of Mount Beerstat, I'm going to be wearing the Hoka Speed Goat Evos, EVOs. Um, those are the shoes I'll be racing in for Pikes Peak Marathon, so when I give those a trial run. For the second rep of Mount Beerset, I'll probably switch into just the regular OG Speed Goat 4s, just to save the mileage on the nicer racing shoes that I'm gonna be using for Pikes Peak. So Mount Beerset, it's a 14er. The ascent is roughly 3.6 miles, and it is 27-ish hundred feet of gain. So the record 47 minutes for 2,700 feet of gain, 3.6 miles. Uh, for anyone that's done any mountain running, you would know that that's pretty insane. Uh, that's that's a good clip, that's moving. And so not expecting to beat that today, but just gonna see what I'm capable of. And it'll be a good tester, kind of to see how the fitness is coming along a month into being at altitude, a month into Colorado. And, uh, you know, see how how badly Seth's gonna blow my doors off at the Pikes Peak Marathon. So gonna start with a warm up first, maybe jog a mile or so, do some strides, get into the shoes, and then we're just gonna get after it. Two by Mount Beer Sat, it's gonna be a big day. Probably, I don't know, three, four hours plus of moving and hopefully running all of that. So it's gonna be a banger. Excited to get out there and do it. See what I'm capable of and uh, join the pain train. It's gonna hurt y'all. Beautiful sunrise. It's a gorgeous day. Pretty cold here. It's like 38 degrees Fahrenheit, but should be good running weather. Uh, this is Mount Beerstat right here. So that's what we'll be ascending. Uh, actually, just a couple weeks ago, we did Mount Beerstat ascent, and then we took this sawtooth and also ascended Mount Evans and did a double 14er day and did some nice little class three climbing on the sawtooth. So today, much easier technicality wise, just doing Beerstat, but gonna hit up two of them and make it a banger. Ooh, that sunrise is on one today. So not gonna lie, warm up kind of felt like shit. Usually does though before a hard effort. And even if I feel like shit, I mean, can run for four hours, come on. That ain't nothing. Just a little, a little day's work, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and forgot to mention I'll be using the Lecky trail racing poles uh, for the first time today as well. Uh, I'll link in the description to the shoes and to the poles just in case you're interested in checking them out. Before I take off here on the beer sat ascent and chase that FKT, drop a comment below and predict my time. Don't skip ahead, no cheating, but comment below what you think my time will be. Uh, 47 minutes is the FKT by Seth. Uh, 58 minutes is the fastest time so far this year on Mount Beer Stat. So drop that comment below, predict the time, and we'll see uh, who gets closest.
Ooh, baby. Not sure how well the audio is going to come through. It's super windy. It's super cold. I can barely talk. My mouth's numb, but quick update from the summit of Mount Mirasat here. Uh, didn't feel much on the way up because I was full send to the max the whole way. I think my heart rate was over 180 the entire time. Um, went out way too fast. Uh, was well ahead of Seth's FKT as of the first mile or so. Um, turns out a six minute mile at uh, 11,500 feet with climbing, not too easy. So got out way too hot, I was dying. Uh, we just kept digging and final result, uh, watch said that I had 53 minutes high for the climb, which is top 10 ever, um, according to Strava. So we'll see what it officially comes down as. If I remember right, the 10th fastest in Strava was 55 minutes. And so if I got the 53 high today, I'm pretty damn happy with it. Uh, you know, realistically was not expecting to break Seth's record. I mean, he's lived here for 20 years and trained in the mountains. I've been here for four weeks after six years of no elevation in Chicago. So yeah, very stoked to be only six minutes off of his FKT and also to set the fastest time in 2021 by five minutes. Now, get to send it off this mountain, send it down the mountain, and then uh, try to do a second rep. We'll see. It's gonna be slow, but we're gonna get work up. So hopefully I'll get you some beautiful shots here on the rest of it. Hopefully I'll be able to talk later. My mouth is numb. So here you go, one final look from the uh, from the summit here, Mount Versat. Let's do it. Nothing better than getting to send it down the mountain as a reward for redlining for the entire way up. Absolutely love downhill mountain running. That's gonna be the cherry on top or the silver lining once we get to the top of Pikes Peak halfway in and I get to just blast a half marathon downhill. Sometimes you gotta watch a little on the downhill. I get a little carried away. It almost tripped and face plant. That's how I broke one of my GoPros already this summer, tripping and falling. Lost another GoPro in the creek. So it's been expensive summer so far. Also cracked my Garmin falling. <laughs> Round one, done. Oh, there she is. Oh, brutal. Back at the car after round one. Uh, don't know how good the audio turned out at the top. It was very, very windy and cold up there. I felt like I was not talking very well, numb mouth, but ended up being about 53 minutes on the way up and then about 39 minutes high on the way down. So hour 33 round trip for, I had 7.3 miles because I started a little before the trailhead and 2,800 feet of gain. So again, really happy with that. I wouldn't have been shocked if I came in here today and ran over an hour on the segment. Uh, 
you know, Seth's time 47 minutes, best time so far in 2021 was 58 minutes. Um, so landed right in the middle of those six minutes off of Seth's time uh, and about a five minute 2021 record. So yeah, honestly, with how much I've been training lately, legs, legs pretty damn tired. Uh, went out way too fast, like a typical flatland road racer. Uh, considering all that, you know, pretty happy with it. And uh, now I'm switching into the uh, regular Speed Goat 4s. I just wore the Speed Goat Evos, uh, EVOs, I don't know how you say it, but switching into the regular shoes because uh, I wanna keep those EVOs fresh for the race itself. But feel pretty damn good. Highly recommend the Speed Goats in general. A lot of cushion on the way down, my quads, everything feeling great on the descent. The second, the second go round is gonna be probably a lot slower. Uh, again, because I went out so fast, I was redlining very early on the first uh, rep. And so I'm pretty cashed. I feel like I just raced a half marathon. Well, I basically did just race a half marathon. And we'll see what I have left in the tank on the second one here. It's about time on the feet and time at altitude is the main piece of it. So just because I'm tired, gonna be tired halfway into Pikes Peak Marathon as well. Doesn't mean I can stop. So gotta, gotta get used to going for four hours. That's the name of the game in mountain running. Get a little refuel action and then we'll hit it. Round two, baby. to go absolutely bonking did not bring enough nutrition for three and a half hours of max heart rate <sighs> Ooh, that's a wrap Three hours and 24 minutes for two ascents and descents on Mount Bierstadt. And first one, first ascent, basically all out, second ascent, tempo, effort. Uh, first ascent, six minutes off of the FKT, not bad for a flatlander. Second ascent was about an hour six, so still not bad either. Coming out here, the goals today were to, uh, number one, get a long, hard effort in. Pikes Peak's gonna be like a four hour race, so needed to hurt for a long time. And then the other thing was to get a benchmark, benchmark myself against the competition and just get an idea of how how fast I can do in a mountain compared to Seth, uh, who won Pikes Peak last year. So I'd say all in all, accomplished the goals today, pretty happy with it and uh, set a 2021 record in the uh, in the process. So time to take a nap and eat, eat a lot of food. 
Go get your Pop-Tarts, boys.